and welcome to The Base, Big and Small Screens. Today, I would like to bring up a movie that a lot of people may not like, a lot of people may enjoy. It's one of those movies you really, you can really either love it or hate it. But it's a movie I particularly love, I enjoy it quite a bit, simply for its campiness and its over-the-topness. And that movie is Howard the Duck. Yep, Howard the Duck. Now, he's shown up again in the movies in the little stinger bit at the end of Guardians of the Galaxy, which is cool. I really liked his design there. Um, it was still mostly CG, I believe it was, or entirely CG. But it looked really, really uh, disheveled, a, a, a different take from the Howard the Duck I know, because back in the day when this was put out, Howard the Duck was a suit, an animatronic suit that somebody wore. Um, maybe not animatronic, but it was a suit. So it looked like a suit. But that doesn't really uh, take away from the film. At least I don't think so. What's it about? Well, it's about a duck on a planet filled with ducks, way out in the middle of the universe somewhere. And due to some scientists with a, I think some sort of a particle ray or something, they don't really go into too much detail that I remember, he gets pulled away from his world and slammed into Cleveland, Ohio. <laughs> I think that's in Ohio. Where he meets, um, what's it, Leah Thompson from the Back to the Future movies, you may remember. She is a young lady who is in a rock band, and she ends up helping Howard because he saves her life. And then there's Tim Robbins in a very young role where he's this assistant to a scientist. And things go from there, and they try and figure out how he got here and how to get him back. And the scientists, they, they kind of figure it out. But something goes wrong when they're starting to fire things up. The uh, the head scientist played by Jeffrey Jones, an amazing job in this one. I think it's Jeffrey Jones. Oh, yes. Uh, he ends up getting possessed by the dark overlord of the universe, this giant scorpion-looking monster. And it's a CG-laden special effects battle at the end with all kinds of funkiness. Uh, a few maybe disturbing moments looking back on it. Uh, I'll, I'll admit to that, but Howard the Duck is an amazingly funny movie. It's got a lot of horrible duck puns in it. Um, not really for kids, I'd say. Maybe 16-year-olds and up can watch this movie. It's rated only, the Canadian home video is 14A rating. I don't know what that would translate to in the United States, but I'd say kick it up another couple of years. Just be on the safe side. It's a good movie, though. It's funny, it's sweet, and it's got really good action, really good special effects for the time. But most of all, it's got that over-the-topness that I kind of like in a movie. It's got a, uh, it's got a way of taking the absurd and portraying it as being absurd, but doing so in a serious way that kind of appeals to me. I mean, you've got a duck walking around talking about knowing quack fool <laughs> and weird stuff like that, but he's completely serious. As stupid and absurd as that sounds, a lot of it is that way and is very, very, uh, very amusing, uh, very well acted. Uh, even, even the over top bits, especially with Jeffrey Jones, I love watching that man chew the scenery definitely worth the watch. So yes, it's new out on DVD, I believe. You can find it for probably very cheap. So this week, you should check out Howard the Duck. And I'll see you next week.